What is up, people? No my castle today since I'm not really buying anything. I pretty much have everything I need <laughs> to clear this chapter right here. But, uh, yeah. That's that. No tonics or anything, however. I am going to promote Perry since I'm pretty much promoting everyone at this point, or will be before next chapter, and she just feels like she's next in line. So let's do that. I think they specified Adventurer, which is plus two speed, which is pretty cool. Yep. And there we go. Remember, we got this last chapter when we beat, uh, when we opened a chest. Yeah, that's right. Lots of resistance on this one, and she can use staves. So I don't really know how necessary Leo is to this equation anymore. Uh, but he is closer to getting D, so I guess I'll just leave the staving to him. Effie. Jeez, please. Anyway, so the gimmick with this chapter is that these guys have leaves on them. My little fairy units over here. And you can't attack them when they have the leaf, but then the leaf deactivates during enemy phase. I, I'm gonna be real with you. I've played this game several times and I really got no clue how this shit works, so we're just gonna try to kill them. Alright. Luckily, we do have our handy dandy beast killer right here. Benny is a few kills away from getting wary fighter, so they won't double it. Which is great. And then we're just gonna fly away since I'm pretty sure these guys are effective against all beast units. Or maybe specific ones of them are. Either way, it's scary for your beast, I mean, your mounted units. Because I don't really, I'm not really currently using any beast units yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the beast. Strewn that's effective? Where is it? What do you got? Enables tougher. Oh, I thought these guys beat uh, your mounted units. I guess that was a misconception I had. Yep, and they just ignored Benny. Figures. So now I'll have Benny move up to deal with these guys because the promoted one should attack. Unfortunately, these guys are quite fast, and they're also on evasion tiles, and I still need to get Perry and Iron Bow. Wow, maybe I should have bought something. Hmm. Anyway, luckily because of our darting low, we doubled this guy, so we can nail a sizable chunk to him. And... Sailor, you're probably considerably accurate. Yep. Just as I thought, he may be getting worse as time goes on, but he's still reliable compared to my other units, at least. And that, that's one fox down. Several more to go. Several more to go. Hey, he finally got speed. Neat. Ooh, HP plus five, that's also pretty good, considering his HP was lacking before. Good talisman, you do get some goodies this chapter to make it worth your while, but... It's unfortunately still this chapter. You know, Conquest has like three whole chapters where you just fight the same damn enemy. You have Ninja Hell as the first one. You have this one where it's just, you know, the Kitsune, you know, the current legend. And then you have the Faceless chapter. It's like, Jesus Christ, get a new idea? Anyway, yeah, luckily for us, Benjamin here has his handy dandy beast killer. You gotta be kidding me. We survived. Oh my. <laughs> Alright, Benjamin needs the heals. At least he got defense and res there. And wary fighters, you know, they can't double him. And 5,000 gold. Please leave me alone. <laughs> so can we just... 2-4% crits. <laughs> oh my god, you must be shitting me. <laughs> Ladies, oh, oh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, we're back, so we can uh, try that whole equation again. Because, uh, <laughs> didn't really go our way last time. But surely Benjamin will not repeat that mistake. Go get him, Tiger. C3 damage, no double. They're losers. Losers. 
Look at that. Boom. Get killed by my claw crab. Uh. Hog. What is that thing? How is it supposed to kill beasts? Thank you, Chris. Saving many from those killer 4% crits. And now this guy joins the party. Bye! Bye bye! Sorry. Does he have an octopus on his left shoulder? The hell is going on there? Alright. His bulk continues to grow. You see, it's like this with Benny. He just kinda starts to steamroll after a while. It's very interesting. Because, right, he has high defense, but then he just keeps gaining more defense, and it's like a self fulfilling prophecy at that point. But anyway, then he will continue to exterminate them, and since it is an odd numbered turn, they won't be dealing with absurd 7 damage. So that's quite. Wait. Oh, that didn't one shot. Oh, I was under the impression it would. Interesting. Anyway. Spenny so will continue to deal with those little troglodytes. Still not effective against beasts, are you? Enables at un enables unit in animal form to deal with damage to beast units. Yeah, that's what I thought. So the red exclamation point doesn't show up over his head, but you know. I don't even have a... Oh, well, I guess this guy kind of has high-ish speed. And reasonable defense, so why don't we just stop him from getting dual striked? Maybe give him some more speed. And just go right there with a dagger or something, just to weaken him up a bit. Alright, yeah, so they do deal extra damage to beast units. I was right. It's just their skill, it's just not something the beast stone itself has, that's right. I answer right. And my good friend 32 Defense Benjamin will continue to deal with those losers. Right. Do your skills do. Enemies within two spaces of minus 10 evasion. Oh, that's actually pretty good for hitting inaccurate weapons, because the beast killer I'm pretty sure has less hit. Well actually more hit than the Iron Lance. Wow, yeah, that has a lot of hit actually. Never mind. Once again, I am proven wrong. So that'll weaken this one for the rest of my guys to take it out. These guys will continue to get caught. That's right, these guys have the beast runes and not just the beast stones. That's why they're being so damn resilient. But, no crit doesn't seem like it, at least with these guys, so that's good, at least that means they literally will not have a single iota of a chance to kill my good friend Benjamin. Look at him go. You know, a lot of people don't use him and Charlotte. Just because, you know, by that point you already pretty much have your team, but like... And he did not go for our good pal Benjamin. Just made this a bit trickier, I must say. I reckon at least we can deal with this final one. Good. And Benny gets another level up. <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah. So eventually he just kind of starts to steamroll. Once you just give him a little bit of experience. It's quite an experience. Right. So yeah, now it's showing up. Well, I guess not all of them have the skill. Alright, but let's say theoretically. Oh shit, not even Charlotte doubles. Huh. This is gonna get interesting. Maybe I should have given them speed tonics, honestly. If after he said again, that's maybe what I'll do. Nevertheless, killer bow. Jeez. My killer bow didn't even have a good percent chance to crit. Holy moly. Ooh, the poison strike, though. Yeah, so we definitely want him to move a lot this chapter because of his poison strike. Yeah, okay, I'm thinking I might need to actually... Reevaluate how I'm pulling this chapter off. Let's see. This is too good. Charlotte actually doubles them, so. It's also unfortunate because they're on terrain. Okay, so let's really think about who we have coming here. They have stupid high defense, so I don't think Camilla's gonna do much. Yeah, Thunder. 
Thunder's accurate enough, actually. So I can maybe take out this one. Nah. Niles isn't strong enough, but maybe Charlotte is. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Alright. Good got. You freaking loser. Vengeance. But I don't even have any HP damage dealt to you, so that's useless. Alright. Gone. And another Camilla level up. Very nice. Let's see what we got here. Speed defense res. You know what? For what I use her for, very good level up. Alright. 11 times 2. But with my Lance, that's probably better. But she would have the effective damage dealt to her. Also, wow. My bow's way more accurate. So I feel like I'm not going to risk going up close to personal with that one. And again, both of these bronze bow hits could miss. But they didn't. Very nice. So that opens the way for someone else to pick them off. Which is nice. Probably Niles. Yikes. Jeez, they're on trees. This one isn't even on a tree. And he's still evading my ass. So that's concerning. I think we'll kill the beast stone guy, so then... As after this, we still we should still have enough power to at least kill somebody. Alright. Right. So Perry, if you could take out this guy, that'd be cool. Do it with your new adventurer skills, with your bow, clipping through your cape. Nice, okay, so I'm getting very lucky with my hits here, which is nice considering the evasion these guys have. And then I think dance for sure to take out the final beast effective. So we don't have to deal with that. Alright, another Azura level up, even though it really doesn't matter that much. Alright, so let's try killer bowing him, and the killer bow is also good for poison strike. Oh, that's right, he's paired up. Uh, that's fine. We could just get a lucky crit here, plus with Poison Strike. Yeah, we'll be fine. Alright, and with Poison Strike, he should die to Charlotte. And then that guy won't double anyone and won't be effective against my beast units. Hello? Goodbye? Alright, this is more accurate, so I'll just go for this. Bye bye. Bye bye. So long. All right. So that was a bit concerning, but since we've taken care of all the beast effective ones, um, we should be good to go. And then just put Niles here. Let's see. And then have our healers on standby for next turn when we need them. He's just going for Niles, and he one shots Niles. I do not think about this. Please miss. Let's see what death has to offer. You know, I just assumed that he wouldn't one-shot Niles. That was very foolish of me. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I will be back. I'm going to attempt this chapter again. Same general strat, but this time I'm going to give some people some speed tonics. I'm going to give Perry an iron bow. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Bye bye. Alright people, and we are back, back again with more of this very fun map. Uh, so what I did, give all my bow units, you know, you strength and speed, gave Niles a strength and speed, tonic, and I gave Selena, since she is darting blow and always doubles anyway, the uh, power drop, I think it's called in this game, that we got in the Zolza chapter from the chest. So she actually kind of deals damage now. So that's nice. That's nice. Why don't we just have her kill one of them to demonstrate? Bye, and bye bye what did you expect? Very nice. What even is she riding? I guess a Kinshi, but I don't really know what a Kinshi is. I guess it's a bird huh? of some sort. Air superiority. And what does that do for me? Grants hit when battling flying enemies. Huh, does that make sense since I am a flying bow unit? And Benny, please make the nightmare end. Please. Okay. He's gone now. He can't hurt us anymore. Right. 
They paired everyone up so they couldn't get dual strikes, including our healers. So now we can separate and actually have them do their healing thing. Which is nice. Alright. I think I'll leave Benny and Chris paired up. Just because that just seems to be what's working right now, you know? Shara still coming in handy. And you're gonna gain strength and not magic. Not even strength. Oh, Effie. Oh, Effie. Now we have more of these guys to deal with and their leaves or whatever. Don't really understand why they felt the need to make it so you can't attack them on player phase sometimes. Don't really know why the conquest devs thought, hey, let's do that. You know, it's uh, certainly a design choice. You know, Baruch has pretty much become Selena's uh, slave at this point, her body slave to give her more strength and speed, because she does have a very good class, you know, for attacking, so I do want her to have kind of good stats there. Whatever, y'all know the drill. Why don't we watch? And then they had the leaves, okay. And they have pass. Okay, that's interesting. They have, they have, they all have pass. Yep. Okay. Okay. Probably should have checked that. Probably should have checked that if I'm being honest. But it's fine, because now it should be an even turn. Oh, last turn was an even turn and they still didn't go for Benny? Huh. Anyway. So why don't we just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, 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 kind of evacuate a bit so we can fight in a more favorable area. Because I'm not really feeling this, if I'm being honest. Not really feeling this. <laughs> Separate the sea air wards of a deadly fate. <laughs> they, they, they had passed the whole time. Speed. So let's see. It's turn nine. So they wouldn't wreck me. And if I gave speed plus four, then they wouldn't. Let's just not risk that for now. Let's just not. Let's just fight them on our own terms over here where I won't get jumped. And unexpectedly destroyed. But they put a choke point there to trick you, you know? You know they did. You know they tricked you. Hey guys, don't leave. We got a nice fresh... Chris, I mean shit. Right, go for Chris at this point. I mean, I'll take it. Just don't go for my fragiles. Oh no. Why are they so powerful? And I am forced to run away from foxes. Well, I guess Kitsune is the technical term if you really want to get Japanese about it. Okay. Okay. Go into the corner, my pretties. Yes, okay. They're going for Chris. Your camera ain't going for okay. I'm sealing their resistance. Okay. The situation is back under control. The situation is under control. Alright, okay. Putting pass on him was a real dick move, I gotta say. Alright. Uh, I like the part where you perish in the abyss, my good fellow. Get your beast killed. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a wonderful day. Alright, are you effective against beasts? Yes, you are. Alright. So I guess then what we can do, have Sailor pair up with him again. And just start using the dagger. Oh. I could actually kill him if I really wanted to. But then I think I'd be in range of the other guy despite him being on a water tile. 
on 1 HP, then I would be subjecting myself to, well I can't dance and then sure it would be fine, so yeah let's do that, let's do that, let's do that, alright, kill him, thank you Shura, thank you, thank you, thank you Shura, thank you, alright, gotta love Shura, he's just really solid, no drawbacks really. What a nice unit to have on my team. Alright. Alrighty. So I'm thinking the hardest part of this chapter is now over. And they're activating leaf mode again. Okay, that's cool. Oh my god, why are you like this? Why? Who hurt you? Who the fuck hurt you to make you want to make a map like this? <laughs> like, come on. It just makes you run away. <laughs> Goddamn. Run away. Alright. And then, like, oh, shit. Sure, it should be fine, honestly. Maybe have him go for Chris if they really want it. And like one of these guys isn't even wanted. He's weak. Actually, these guys, are, these these kind fellows are quite strong. All right. Okay. Okay. And with that, actually, huh? Survives around. Interesting. Whatever. So now we can have anyone we want take him out. We haven't used Charlotte yet this chapter since I reset, so why don't we just do that? That would be quite fun. Sing a song of conquest and fate. Blah 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 blah. Oh, I can only attack with my javelin. That's sad. Oh well. And goodbye. Damn, that sucks. Whatever, sure, kill. Goodbye, good sir. Have a nice day. In hell. Since I'm pretty sure that's where you're going. And nothing else left up here. And now Benny just has to begin his trek through the mountain area. With all of these guys. This map, let me tell you, it really doesn't quit. This map does not quit. It just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> Quite, quite an interesting design philosophy. Alright, at least they're actually going for Benny this time. Whatever, we all know what happens here. Y'all already know. They get Benjamin. I really don't see how else you're supposed to play this chapter besides an uber tank that just has stupid defense, because, like, you can't hit these guys reliably. The only reason Benny is hitting them reliably is because of his personal skill, otherwise he wouldn't be. Like, even with the Beast Killer, you don't one-shot them. Genuinely, can someone who is a Fates expert, although I doubt I have many Fates experts watching this, can someone who is reasonably experienced with Fates, oh, I don't know, like, you should tell me how you're actually supposed to go about doing this without just using Benny? I'm genuinely curious. Because I got, I don't have the faintest damn clue. Keep on being for real, for real, for real. Alright, guess I may as well move everyone else forward. Cause why not? Do 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 Alright. Guess they'll continue to show Benny what they got. And I'll continue to show them my crab claw. You see Benny uh I'd say this is his best chapter, honestly, because after this, you know what the wind a chapter you do kinda wanna get a move on. Get to Fuga quickly, and he's not very good for that. Alright. I think I like to put my Steel Axe, honestly. Because I don't really want them going for the Fragile Axe. You know, they wouldn't even be fragile, right? If it weren't for the fact that they were beast effective. If it weren't for that fact that they just, for some reason, weren't beast effective, this would not be even an argument. Alright, go for Chris. Yep, alright. Now what are you gonna get? Now what are you gonna get? 
Nice. Yeah. Nice. And they're continued going. Chris Fragiles. All right. Come on. Nice warm bowl of Chris right over here. God damn it. <laughs> Run away again. Because this map just doesn't quit. At least after this, all we'll have left to deal with is Caden and his posse. You know, I don't like Caden as a character and as a design. And this chapter is probably why I have a deep-rooted hatred for the Kitsune as a people. Because they just... They, they just attack you. Alright. Alright, that one's debuffed. Okay, going for Effie. Interesting choice there, friend. Interesting choice there, friend. Alright. Technically now we should just be able to purge and destroy. Goodbye. Ta-ta. The only problem is he's going to go leaf mode next turn. So then I won't be able to attack him and he'll still keep approaching my guys. But I suppose I could get a few hits on him this turn. Let's just try for the killer bow, honestly. Miss. Swing and a miss. He's still got poison strike though, so that's funny. And, next, and this turn he'll just go leaf mode, so he won't be able to attack. Yep, okay. And further into the corner of despair we go. Let's see, what turn is it? Is it, an e is it an even turn? It is an even turn. Yikes, okay. So I do have to be careful about who I let in. Right, let's just kind of block this guy, kind of block his movement as best we can. Get Leo in the corner. Right. And then pair up. Pair up. And then pair up. Okay. Going for sure up. That crit wouldn't even do anything. Yep, okay. So now... Now why don't we just purge this thing from reality? after our friends and that's no good all right well sir have a nice day goodbye goodbye and i didn't hit damn sucks all right. luckily i have benjamin for saving grace and he's done okay another level up for benny probably more defense and resistance yep because that's just how Benny rolls. If it ain't defense or resistance, get the hell out. Get the hell out. Alright. Nearing the final stages of this nonsense. Trust me, we're almost there. We're almost there. Alright. Make a whole chapter full of just the furry characters. What could go wrong? Give them a gimmick that they don't even have in Birthright. Or they cannot take damage if they have a leaf icon over them. Leaf Ferris Klaus reference. Damn. Conquest really is Thracia 7762. Alright. Well, since we're nearing the final stages of this, I believe it's time, with my Warrior Fighter skill, to go teach Lady Caden a lesson about manners. So why don't I just go do that? Why don't why don't I just go do that? Why don't I just go do that? And I'm gonna do 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 do. And I'm gonna do 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 do. And I'm gonna do 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 do. Beast killer ready. Beast killer's ready. Yeah, this guy is some bullshit. Let's see. I have 35 defense. So honestly, we should just be good to go. This forest tile seems like the best place to camp so they don't get evasion while I do, even though I doubt my evasion will matter much. Alright, time to purge. Maybe we should just get uh, at least Leo over there or something in case we do need that healing. That we will, but you never know. And because of Benny's awesome ability, they will suffer evasion loss, so it should be relatively easy to hit them. Yep, let's see. Fierce main, minus 10 evasion. Nice, thank you, Benjamin. 
Thank you. Alright. Alright, very cool. Hey, buddy, buddy boy. Would you like some dye? <laughs> would you like some dye? Would you like to would you like to die? Yes. That's very nice dye you have on your face. And there he goes. Like a fart in the wind. You can't run from the fierce mane, I'm afraid. You cannot run from the fierce mine. It is too late for you. <laughs> they don't know it's too late for them. It's sad, really. The fierce mine is coming. The fierce mine is coming. Oh. They do not know what fate awaits them. Uh, honestly, why did they even attack us, right? I mean, pretty sure Yago did some bullshit and then like a rock crushed them. I think that's why we're attacking them. I don't freaking know. All I know is the fierce mane is coming for them. The fierce mine is coming for them. <laughs> they are running because they know better. They know better. Honestly, bronze. Bronze is better for just destroying their defense. Alright. Oh, I love it when the enemy knows better. Alright, get some more chip while they're not in leaf mode. Alright, and Charlotte, maybe you can finally do something this chapter. Epic style. Alright, 100%. That's, there's no way that's going to miss. Bye, sir. Have a nice day. Did I do that? Yes, you did. It was beautiful. You did do that. You did do that. Alright, and then just dance for sure, I guess, to eliminate the last traces of this treachery that is this map. Oh, next map, though. That's going to be Fuga's Wild War. Alright, I'm not really looking forward to that. And 1E and 2E uh, and get gone. That's a 1E. And that's a 2E. I had no choice. Bye. Bye. Uh, they were no match for the Fierce Mine, ladies and gentlemen. They were no match for the Fierce Mine. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, ho. What is uh, Look at them defenseless against the god. The god of creation. Oh. And with that, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's just get that up, alright. Next chapter, I will be buying a lot of master seals. And a lot of other various things to prepare my mortal soul for that hell. But until then... This has been the Fire Conquest PMU. Remember to subscribe if you like what you see, and bye bye.